Hey everyone, so I got some new material. Today we're going through Ken Wilber's The Stages of Life. Now it seems that there were paraphrases of what he teaches on this uh, website, the instituteforlearning.com website. And I want to basically show you how the early stages of a child's development are compatible with the stages of spiral dynamics themselves. And it took me a while. I was also very tired when I did this, but we'll see what I have um, because I, I don't even know if I'll be able to read my notes so easily. So let's hope. Okay, so the first stage that's mentioned is the undifferentiated or primary matrix. So this is, com I'm not gonna go into detail because that's not what this, uh, the function of this video is, but this is comparable to base instincts. Uh, when the child is in this stage, it's comparable to, um, to safety needs, right? So infrared. Okay, next is the uh, sensory physical. Okay, now I can go into detail, but I'd rather you look it up. This is just an overview to just compare them. The sensory physical is also part of safety, it seems. And so I concluded that in beige. Okay, then I had phantasmic. So this aspect of pre-personal development represents the growth of an imaginal and emotional life. Okay, and then beforehand we had sensory physical. One strand of thinking that it has articulated this level of being infant going through a sensor motor. Okay, so the sensor motor is beige, infrared. Then the phantasmic would have to do with the imagination and therefore it has to do with both purple, when the imaginative faculties begin, and red, where the imaginative faculties exist just in a different way. Okay, the next one is four. A rep representative mind. Um, so I said this was, I said this was blue when I wrote it down. The beginnings of formation of mental structures. All right. So blue is interested in structuring their beliefs and structuring the truth. Why, right? What is the truth? There's all these mythologies, there's all these ideas, but we have, there is one truth. And usually that ends up becoming some kind of one God or one God as a head of a pantheon. Um, and of course, the one God as a head of a pantheon could also exist in red because you want one as most dominant. But in general, this one as most dominant from red turns into this uh, unseen force that's helping us structure society as his servants. Okay, so, so it's interesting that the child's um, development um, is compatible there. So this stage is best described as pre-operational stage of thinking when the child is using magical thinking, animism, uh, and other basic schemas. Okay, so animism has to do with purple, right? That's what was confusing because I said it was either purple or blue. And then later on, I realized that blue's animism doesn't ever go away which is why you need to be reminded not to, to worship idols. There has to be a belief system not to, because you might end up saying, um, that was one aspect, that was one component. I may actually have to edit, because I'm just gonna look down to read my notes for a second. The next was the rule role mind. So this is the idea that, uh, from G Jean Piaget, the concrete operational, child begins to use logic. So that would be compatible with orange. So I, I word it as it's compatible with orange, but it's also compatible with the early, with the late stages of blue. And so that's why the late stages of blue are very structured, whereas the beginning stages are like heretical and they don't really know what they're talking about. Everyone's arguing. The next is the formal reflexive stage. Most closely approximate Jean Piaget's stage of formal operational thinking. Oh, the teen leaves concrete objects behind and simply thinks about thinking. You can think more expansively, like philosophizing. So I put this under the category of green. You have an adolescent stage, right? The teenage years. And they, we start to realize in stage green that ideas are relative because ideas are not tangible. We're thinking about ideas. We're thinking about, oh, he's just looking at things from a different perspective. The reason why you have this um, relativism 
capacity is because you understand I, we're all just playing with ideas and coming things at it from a different perspective. And so thinking about ideas is compatible to the formal reflexive stage in the teenage years. Now the centaur vision logic stage, the soul begins to transcend the verbal ego mind, but the lens begins to transcend the verbal ego mind and integrate all aspects of previous stages, including not verbal, cognitive and emotional states, but also the union derives shadow. So centaur would go under the category as yellow, as late yellow. So the formal reflexive stage previously is also part of early yellow. And this is compatible with my idea that yellow is split up into two parts. Uh, you have uh, esteem for the first part and then actualization or manifestation of your desires and what you want to change in the second part. Right, and people who say be the change you want to see in the world as like orange and maybe green, I think that's inaccurate. To, to, to remember, memorize principles so you, that you, uh, you pursue a dominant or, or um, conducive way to be at the top of something, that's or stage orange. But to actually experience it, actualization, that's in later stages. So basically stage orange is, search, is aspiring for actualization, but they don't even know what it is. <laughs> you have to live it. You can't think about it. You can't talk about it. It just is. The moment you, you, uh, you talk about it, you're delaying the process. The next stage in the child's development is the psychic stage. And this would be compatible with uh, mid-turquoise because centaur is, is early turquoise. So you become psychic in turquoise. And that's why you have a mystical state, a mystical experience in, in a late yellow. Um, people who never had mystical states, they probably did, but don't want to be called crazy. Or if they didn't, they're probably tapping into it, but cognitive dissonance. Oh, I'm just really tired. And they can't acknowledge that they're overworking themselves and therefore getting hallucinations at night because that would mean they're crazy. Similar idea there. But the point is psychic awareness does begin in yellow, in late yellow. Now the next stage is the subtle. Wilbur defines a stage as you are seeing something beyond nature, beyond the existential, beyond the psychic, and even beyond identi cosmic identity. When you go above identity, so that would be stage coral. So when someone makes fun of you in stage coral, uh, well, I speak in terms of making fun because anyone who's in stage coral and is not part of any community, you're going to be made fun of and laughed at and, and considered stage orange or someone... Uh, who uh, who should not be in the model. So, um, because stage yellow wants to believe they're in coral. That's generally what happens. And it, it gets really out of hand. So, the stage coral is going to be uh, without identity. And not just at not identity because they don't have a community, but not have an identity because they pass turquoise. They're restarting the developmental process of safety without any attachment to who they are. So it looks like this really weird person who might oscillate between sounding like they care about things and not caring about things, or sounding like they don't care about things and then caring about things. So that is not bipolar, it's just an illusion. It's something that you're not used to. You're not used to someone not having an identity and not caring about that, and then caring because there's a survival need to keep the organism functioning and alive that also restarts every four stages, such as the coral stage, when you use my 4P. Uh, then you have stage 10 is two stages. So these are combined. I haven't figured out why they're combined because he only lists 11 levels when I have 12 in my model and possibly 14, uh, possibly 14, possibly 16 because of the red might be two. Uh, did I get that? I think so. I'll, I'll look back at that later. But causal, teal, alber. So Wilbur describes a stage. This is total and utter transcendence and relates to the formless consciousness. Right. Infinite wisdom. Right. That's what I've been talking about. This is a stage where everything is wisdom to be to give you knowledge because everything is formless. So therefore, you can learn anything from everything and everything from anything. Uh, I came up with this principle in turquoise because I was intellectualizing it. It's called um, 
well, I came up with like a dozen of them, but one of them that comes to mind is uh, everything teach ET. Everything teaches. Everything has something that you can learn from. Uh, and there's also another principle I created where everything that's available was given to you because you can learn from it, which has two components. You can learn from it uh, because everything has the capacity to, or um, or there is a universal guide that's giving you the sight that will help you learn from it. Okay, let's keep going. Oh, so the causal uh, involves stage teal. This is mostly stage teal, but we also learned that if you only have 11 levels, we have to include Aubergine. So uh, Aubergine is that, so Teal and Aubergine is actually three levels. So the, so according to this theory, this uh, understanding, the causal phase of development will last for a long time. Be, uh, you'll be ascertaining why things are happening uh, for a long time, because this is happening in all stages, Teal, early Aubergine and late Aubergine. Okay, so, and then obviously clear, you can kind of go back into whatever you need to go back to. So that is that is um, three stages or two stages in the causal arena, which is utter transcendence. There's no self, no God, no final God, no subjects, and no thingness apart from other than consciousness as such. And the question is, am I experiencing that right now? Probably. Uh... Yeah, I guess so. Never thought of it that way. The non-dual. I spoke to a turquoise person and she said, like I was telling her, like you, you're, you're tur turquoise, you're thinking like a turquoise person. And she's like, I never thought of it that way. That I, I never thought that's the reason why I'm turquoise because that's the stage I'm at. She said, okay, so non-dual. Wilbur explains this stage as the entire world process then arises moment to moment as one's own being. Right, so this is uh, complicated because if you don't have your needs met in stage clear, you'll just go back to lower stages to, to get those needs, right? So I just went to Teal Swan's group and I've been posting stuff about my spiritual identity. That's to do with stage coral. I'm going back into other stages. Um, Right, like the mind, you know, you know, myth mythological thinking. Um, but in theory, if you reach that state, you won't need to do that, and therefore, you won't even. There'll just be a, a non-dual experience. You won't need to do anything. You won't need to teach, and you won't need to not teach. Um, and I'm I'm not holding there. So even though I'm in stage clear, there's two types of stage clear. There's stage clear with having your needs satisfied, in which case you can probably go to higher level, higher rungs more easily. And you'll experience this non-dual state or awareness or way of being or being itself. Uh, and therefore, uh, I don't consider myself as in this stage. And if I was, I would probably be trying to access stage topaz the following stage. So that covers the, um, the synopsis or the, the stages of development uh, as outlined by the the overview of and and uh, paraphrase of Ken Wilber's works from February 5th 2020 when this was published take care have a great day